hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content today is a very very special day because i have a gift to share with you a gift that i believe would help you kickstart your career or if you're already in one would help you excel and advance it so stick and stay let's dive right in Many years ago, right here in the University of Ghana, I began my career as a national service person. And like the average national service person, I was always looking forward to the end of the work week, where we all get to say, thank God it's Friday. Or I look forward to the end of the month, where we receive the all popular national service allowance. I wasn't interested in gathering skills. It's, it's, it's a list of the things. I was thinking about at the time some way somehow halfway through the national service i realized that real life is actually happening and i didn't have the luxury to just while away the time and then eventually after the one year or 10 months national service i'll be added to the statistics of people who search for jobs forever and this is what i decided to do i decided to make little adjustment because there was so many there were so many things i was doing wrong for instance i just showed up to work when it was convenient for me and so long as i can ask permission to leave and i would always take advantage of it and endless requests for days off there were times when i would arrive at the car park at the same time my director who has already been to two or three meetings is arriving at the office so when this thing dawned on me, I realized that no, I need to make certain changes, no matter how little I had to start. So what did I do? I started with just arriving on time and then closing when we be directed to close. And then as time went, as time went on beyond that, I would arrive before everyone else, and then I would also leave well after everyone has left so that I'll be able to complete my assignments and tasks and even prepare for the following day. This may look like a little adjustment, but that's how habits are formed. You make little changes that over time become your character and the way you respond to situations. So the first lesson I want you to pick from this is that it's necessary as a person, okay, beyond your career, as a person to always evaluate and reevaluate your daily actions what can i do better what can i do to excel and advance in this thing that i'm doing so you ask yourself these questions and make these little little changes that in the long term pay huge dividends that money cannot buy so as time went on i began to actually get serious about the work and it became so intense that people now would associate me with the center and the work the center does what i mean by that is almost everybody from the senior members to my own colleagues were looking for information from me about how to run the center basically let me put it that way i was preparing training sessions i was facilitating training sessions i was giving presentations on behalf of some of our counselors who couldn't honor some invitations that they received so I, I got pretty serious with my work many times when you ask people why do you want to do HR they tell you that uh, I want to do HR because I love people but I had a rude awakening that if you actually want to do HR you have to love numbers as much as you love people and numbers were particularly not something I was strong in. I'd had to learn over time and still learning. I said that to say this. There was this particular day I had to do uh, a report on feedback we received from some training participants. And I'd done this report a couple of times, but I'll just put the sums or the figures together and insert in my report. But I thought that how about I strike the sentence, just go beyond putting raw data there, something that would paint a vivid picture, that would make um, the management conversation more engaging. This was going to be a lot of work for me because that's the first time I was going to do something like strike 
percentage is and go beyond just putting raw data there. That wasn't me at all. It meant that I had to do a lot of reading. But I, I thought, what do I have to use? Let me just do this. So I actually stayed that day. Well after 10 p.m., I was still there preparing this report. After I had read around and figured out how to do this, I put that report together and emailed it. So my boss comes in the following day and realizes that I received a mail from Etanam this late. She opens it and realizes, oh, it's the management report. Okay. She looks at it and realizes that, no, this is different. Looks at a lot more work went into this. And this really impressed her because it will look good on her in her meeting. So she called me into her office and asked me what were my plans for national service. I said I was going to start applying for jobs just like every other person does. And then she asked me how about staying with us as a full-time employee after your national service. Oh my god. <laughs> I jumped at the opportunity. Who wants to be applying for jobs when there's a great job and a great opportunity right before you? I took the opportunity and I thanked her and this is about seven months into the national service i already got my first job and what was the trigger it was that report that i sent that evening the second gift i want to share with you today is that always strive to exceed expectation average work is not recognized because there are so many people out there who are just churning out average work average input if you want to shine through if you want your work to be seen if you really want to make impact and cause changes you should be someone who strives to exceed expectation go beyond no matter what it takes sometimes it may take your time your energy and other resources but it's always worth it it pays huge dividends that money cannot buy so rather than just limiting yourself to the minimum always try to exceed what's expected of you now a few weeks after that meeting with my boss she tells me there's someone i want you to meet and i i figured well if she's not going to tell me who i have to meet, then it probably was supposed to be a pleasant surprise so i just i didn't know what it was about so i didn't even know how to prepare to meet this person but a few days after I was called into her office and when I got there, she wasn't there, but there was this um, gentleman I had to meet. He introduced himself and when he finished rattling his profile, my goodness, anybody who is a national service person like me then should have been intimidated. There's someone who has almost 20 years experience as a HR director for West Africa for a huge multinational that most of us are familiar with but I'm just going to save the name um, for today so he asked me a couple of questions and today I can tell that it was just to test my interest and passion for the HR industry so I answered him I gave him answers to the best of my ability and then he says you start on Tuesday and that's less than a week from the day I'm having this conversation with him. Uh, I just thought to myself, I just landed my second opportunity in my seventh month of national service. That was super, super exciting for me. It didn't come easy because the environment that I found myself in was a very high powered one, fast paced, you know, and I had to adjust to learn a lot of things. When I got there, I was given a crash course and the easiest route was to just say, I already have something I'm doing. Why would I break my back, you know, adding this opportunity? So I was doing both at the same time. I was working three days here and two days there. And it took a lot for me, sometimes sleepless nights, long hours sometimes even weekends but i just subscribe to the new lifestyle and it's that same attitude that i've carried with me throughout my career from then till now and it has rewarded me in ways that i can't even begin to say in this in today's video but it has been really 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 helpful to me the third gift that i have for you today is that 
so long as you've been adding value to yourself, you are prepared for that opportunity that will come your way. No matter how big it sounds, when it comes your way, know that you've been prepared and equipped for it and just put your foot in the door. You realize that what it actually takes to do this work, you've already built capacity to handle this new door or this new opportunity that has been opened to you. Don't shrink. Don't don't get hemmed in because after the man read that profile, I would say, oh, I already have a job. Why would I even bother myself? But I took the opportunity and even though it was really intense, it was one of the most intense seasons of my working life, but I took the opportunity and it has helped me tremendously. Never shrink from opportunity when it comes to you because so long as you've been adding value to yourself, you are prepared to take it on and not only survive it but thrive in it so there you have it three strong lessons that i've picked in my career journey as an hr professional i hope this was really helpful and thought-provoking for you if so i want you to share your own experiences with me comment in the comment section like this video and share with others so they can also learn if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for in fact Today happens to be my birthday and your gift to me today is to subscribe to my channel and also get others to do same. If you haven't clicked the notification bell yet, please do so that you'll be notified of my next videos. Thank you so much and have yourself a wonderful time.